Hello you two, all you crazy people out there. Wow, we're uh, coming out for a bit of a camp, two of us, haven't we, Rods? And uh, so far, it's all going wrong. So hopefully this is the turning point and the day will get better. In one way to find out, we're going to go and pitch up. We've got a new OEX Fox 2 tent. But uh, I'm going to be wrecked and uh, my first night in, so I'll do a bit of review on that. So if you haven't subscribed, liked and shared already, please do so. Come back later, see how we get on. Hey, what's what they're barking about? Yeah, so rather than uh, riding my bike down here because he ain't on it, I'm having to drag him in my trolley. You know, it is what it is. Keeping well, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Give us a bit of love and support. And uh, I hope you all keep well. Well, I've got a cup of tea. And uh, my new Fox 2, OEX Fox 2, is all up, set up. Nice, easy little tent to set up. Plenty of room in it for uh, one man and his dog. Well, small dog anyway. But, uh, well, I did it. I finally got out and uh, just from a whole host of things trying to stop me um, things that life throw at you from th this trip originally my next one was going to be in the Breckens so it was going to be on the bike and uh, load the bike up me and Budsy head off to the Brecon Beacons uh, there's a, a few wild camping spots around there that are just absolutely amazing and then they lock Wales down. So, you say to yourself, well, that's all right, you know. I put it on hold for a couple of weeks, which is what I did. I've been and bought my new tent, so I'm chomping at the bit to get out and, and get in it, and get a night in it. And uh, then before Wales can reopen, we're all locking down. Come Thursday, it's Tuesday today, so uh, yesterday I just made the decision, I thought, you know, if I don't go now, it's not going to happen. I'm probably not going to get another one this year. And uh, it was, well, where do I go? And um, I'd been on Facebook earlier that day and um, a page popped up called Nearly Wild Camping. And I clicked on that, so I went back to that and um, I subscribed to it. And uh, that opened up the directory. It cost you 20 quid to subscribe to it for the year. But I've got to say it was worth it because the amount of locations that it, uh, it it then gave me was just you know phenomenal. There's so many. And uh, I looked at quite a few, and this was probably the closest. And uh, ran the guy up, 
he says, yeah, no problem. I'll send you the directions, the back details, and I paid him a fiver. And uh, I say the A14 is just over the back of me here, but a um, bit of road noise, but well, I'm just glad to be out. And uh, if this is the last one for this year, then at least I've got to sleep in my new tent. Hey, it's just starting to bloody rain now, look. Big black cloud coming over. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, nip in the tent for a bit, finish my cup of tea. Move the badsy out of the way, he's in there somewhere in my sleeping bag, all snuggled up. Well, like I say, I was all packed up for the bike and uh, everything was ready to go on the bike. Went to get the bike out, flat tyre. And you just say to yourself, somebody up there just really don't want me to go camping. They just want me to stay home. So, uh, went plan B, because you always go have a plan B. I just, just chucked all my kit, still in all the motorcycle panniers and, and top box and what have you, in the back of the van. And uh, here we are. And uh, I say, it's just nice to be out. It's nice to be away from it all. And uh, it's just chilling. Do love a good fire. It's a nice bit of warmth. Get me dinner on in a bit, I think. Rain lasted for about 20 minutes and then uh, back to blue sky. So, yeah, Got a nice big steak. Top of that. Field trim. Wait a bit. 
I'm rather than sniffing around up there than sniffing around down here. Barbecue sauce. Oh, McDonald's. Quite a bit of traffic noise from the old uh, A14, but I can't say it really bothering me. Yeah. So it's just nice to be out. Could be the last one this year. Well, as a PU lot can't smell that because it smells absolutely gorgeous. I would say it's cooked enough for me. Mistake. Buddy. Buddy. Do some steak.
Wow. Bottle shy. That's good. Mm. No, it's not the Breckens, but it's good enough for me. Good food, a good fire. What else can a man want? Well, the old temperature's dipping now, as you can see. Look at this, look. What are you doing? I'm rolling my jacket, can't move now. Very good. Birdie. Birdie.